And I, so I went to Berkeley, California Junior High. I went to the junior high that was uh, stationed for that neighborhood. That was the Ritzley neighborhood. So when I went to, jun to Garfield Junior High, after going to K Girl Scout camp that summer, there were about a thousand students in that school, I think. And there was not one black person in that school, not me, not janitor, not cook, not teacher, not student, but me. Once again, um, it, it wasn't very controversial. I just didn't know there was a school with no, no Negroes. Um, and that was junior high school? Junior high. So was your high school um, more diverse, or were you also? In Berkeley, there were three junior highs, mm -hmm. an all-white one, a racially pretty nicely distributed one, and one that was predominantly black, according to uh, residential neighborhoods. Um, in junior high, since I was the only black person in the school, everybody in the school knew my name. And parents, if I happened to be walking down the hall and some parent was there for some reason, they said, hi, Shirley, and I said, hi. So with all of that, there was nothing to do but run for office, was there? One by a landslide, everybody knew me. But I'm just saying that that was my life. In high school, that was, there's only one high school in Berkeley, everybody went. So in junior high school, what was the office that you had? Vice president, student body. And then in senior high school, it was a different, slightly different situation, it sounds like. Everybody was there. Berkeley High School was tracked academically, uh, for, you know, just sort of like, where, where are you going? So there were, college, there were college tracks. There were the University of, college, University of California college track, other college tracks, um, clerical, mecha mechanical, I don't know what all. I was in the college track, of course, because I was going to college. Um, and social. You know, uh, people ask me, did I suffer when I was the only black kid in Garfield? No, not at all. Uh, but I, I had no, I, you know, I couldn't go out. My mom wouldn't let me go out with any boy anywhere. Um, and socially, the, you know, I had girlfriends. Um, some of those girls lived in my neighborhood. They were not, they were from a different economic family life than than I was, but some, I mean, everybody knew my mother was the maid, but it just didn't seem to be a problem. Meanwhile, some of the maids in that neighborhood adopted me. I had watchers from the, day, from the bus home. People would give me pie or holler out the window. My mother and uh, other housekeepers were friends. You know, somebody was making sauce, as one Miss Arlene was. I didn't know what South was, but I found out at her house. Um, so it, w it was a pleasant. One of those ladies said to my mother, you know, there's a wonderful church in Oakland that has a great youth, black youth uh, group and lots of nice people, and you might want to take Shirley to that church. She took me to that church. She's we started out going to the Episcopal church near us, which was another, which was an all-white church. And, th and that's where we went until I went to St. Augustine Episcopal Church in West Oakland, where that became my, my church. We had a magnificent priest, black priest, who nurtured us like we were his own children. And it established a group, uh, a frame of reference, a, a cultural model that exists now. This is 60 years later. Those people that I sang in the choir with went to Sunday school and became part of the political structure of the youth movement in the Episcopal Church. That priest said, we're the only black church in this conference. Run for office, pick your office before we get there, decide who's doing the nomination speech, and once you do the nomination speech, canvass the crowd for the votes. That's what we did. We were always officers, always. Uh, but that group is still tight now. I have to go home every now and then, or maybe sometimes we all have to go home because now that we live in different places, same group. And that was my rock through my, my youth and adulthood.